Hi kids, have you heard a story about a llama who got a couch? Me neither. Well, today's story is about such a llama. The book's name is A Couch for Llama and this beautiful book is written and illustrated by Lee Gilbert. This is also a story about a family who also got a couch. So what's going on? Let's find out. The Lego family's couch was very well loved. It was the perfect spot for snuggling and reading, card playing, fort building, hiding and seeking. They had many good times together here. Maybe a few too many good times. The kids would jump on it like woo. Mrs. Lego will spill nail paint on it. And there is Mr. Lego running after the dog, jumping over the couch with dirty sneakers. And one day they realized it was time for a new couch. Mr. Lego spilled the coffee on the couch. Mrs. Lego dropped the sandwich on the couch. And little Mr. Lego made some art on the side. Couch had seen much better days. Now it was time to go. So what happened? They piled into the family car and off they went to find a new couch. A couch that was not too big or too small, but just right. And the Lego family found the perfect couch. It was red and it was just the right size. And they tied to the car and they went home. But on the way home, something went wrong. The couch flew off the car and landed in a pasture. There was someone else in the pasture too. It was Lama. And Lama found a couch. And Lama started sniffing. Sniff, 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 sniff. <laughs> and Lama brayed, Hello! to the couch. But the couch didn't say anything. Lama tried to share his lunch. But the couch didn't seem to have much of an appetite. Well, barley is not very tasty lunch anyways. So Lama ate the couch instead. Eeh. Wow. It tasted worse than a dry, dusty tumbleweed. Meanwhile, the Lego family kept on going. The couch was useless. Take it away, said Mr. Lama. He started pushing it with his head. But it just wouldn't budge. No matter if he pushes or uses his legs to push it, the couch wouldn't budge. Now, Lego family noticed something was missing. Oh no, where's the couch? Meanwhile, Lama, Lama decided to just ignore the couch and pretend it wasn't there. This got very, very boring. So, Lama snuck up and pounced and bouncy, bouncy, bounced and whirled and twirled and jumped and bumped and fell down on a smooshy, mushy, fluffy, puffy cushion. He actually finally completely loved the couch. Meanwhile, Lego family reached back. They found their couch and also a llama who is sitting on the couch. Specifically, a stubborn, couch-loving kind of llama. No matter how much they pushed the llama, it wouldn't budge. But finally they made him get off the couch. But now llama was sad. So they had a great idea. They tied the couch onto the car and told him, Don't worry, llama. We will be back. And they came back. What a surprise. A couch just for llama. At the end of the day, the Lego family was happy with their new couch. Everybody's relaxing on the couch, see? But Lama was the happiest of all. He loved this new couch, which was the old couch for Lego family. And he just lied on it, on its smooshy, fluffy cushions and enjoyed the night. The end. How did you like the story, kids? I hope you liked it. And if you liked, please subscribe. Take care.